Welcome to multiple choice question 9 of the 2006 Mathematical Methods Exam 2. In this video we will be looking at the solution for this question. A reminder that this video is in no way endorsed by VCAR. And now before we move on to the problem, I'd just like to point out that the use of a CAS calculator may assist when answering this kind of question, but I'll actually show first how to do this fully by hand, and then we'll have a look at how we could use the calculator to also tackle this problem. So for question 9, we have if y equals 3 times a to the power of 2x plus b, then x is equal to one of the following options. So what we really want to do is we want to transpose that equation to get x by itself. So the first thing I'm going to start by doing is just subtracting b from both sides. So that would give y subtract b is equal to 3a to the power of 2x. Next, we can divide by that 3. So this would give us y subtract b all divided by 3 is equal to a to the power of 2x. Next, to get x by itself, we need to get it out of the power position. So what we're going to do is we're going to take an equivalent log statement so that we can get 2x by itself to start with. So that would mean that we have log base a, because when we take an equivalent log statement, the bases stay the same. And then we sort of lock up this y subtract b over 3 inside the log. And what that does is it gets 2x by itself. So now all we need to do is divide by 2 or multiply by a half to get x by itself. So we find that we get 1 half log a and then in brackets y subtract b divided by 3 is equal to x. And from there, we can identify that the correct answer for this question is option B. We'll now have a look at how to tackle that same problem using the CAS calculator. So going into the main menu, what we can do is we can type out our rule. So we had Y equals 3, and then we can go keyboard variable to find A, and we know that that was raised to the power of 2X. So we just need to make sure that 2 times x appears in the entire power. So we could use in Math 1 this little symbol and then make sure the 2x goes up on that top line in that power position. And then we also had plus b and we can use variable b to get that. We then want to solve for x so we can just highlight that and go interactive equation inequality solve and we want to solve for x so we hit OK. And this gives us x equals ln, which is log e, of y on 3 subtract b on 3, all divided by 2 log e of a, which is obviously different to what we'd seen on the by hand working that we just did. So one thing that I can show you is that these two things are actually equivalent. So I'll first use judge on the calculator to do that. So going down and then into the catalog and going across to J, we can get judge up and I can input that. And I want to judge that that expression is equal to the one that we found by hand, which was one half. And then we had log A, so I need log with a base that I can pick. And I'm going to put A in there. And then we had a fraction in here, which was Y subtract the variable B on three. And we now want to judge whether these two things are equivalent. So hitting execute, the calculator tells us that that is in fact correct. So what's actually happened between these two things is what we call a change of base. So the change of base formula that I just referred to is that any log a b term can be expressed with some different base k as being the fraction of log base k of b divided by log base k of a. So in other words, the base of the original log, which was a in this instance, becomes the term inside the log on that fraction. And what was inside the log is still inside the log, but just on the top line of that fraction. So that's known as a change of base. And that's why sometimes the calculator will give you a slightly different answer to the one you find by hand, because it traditionally wants to put base E as its default option. So that's why we got a slightly different initial answer on the calculator, which we then need to know how to interpret to get the correct answer of B for this question. From the examiner's report, we can see that this question was really well done in the exam with 84% of students getting the correct answer.